Okay, thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. So we just need you first to just state your name. Cindy Hyde. And how did you hear about Service Dog Project? Actually, my niece knew about it and she doesn't drive and asked me if I would bring her down one day. And that was over five years ago. I brought her down and we took a tour of the farm with Bud. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the tour, he took me up to the house with my niece and spoke to Pam and said to Pam, I have someone here who would like to volunteer. But I had never mentioned volunteering, so <laughs> I was kind of wrangled into that. But uh, I started two days later and I've been here ever since. Wow, yeah. great. Um, so you've been here for five years, you said? Yeah, about five and a half now. Okay. What positions have you held here at Sarasota Project? Well, I'm, I'm currently working primarily as a kennel assistant, but I've also spent a lot of time in the house, uh, caring for the dogs in the house, the puppies, when the litters come, I spend a lot of time with the, the mothers and the puppies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any pets at home? I do. I have Clyde. He's a two-year-old Yorkie. How is Clyde doing? He's doing quite well. <laughs> we, we still have a few things to work on. Yes, he has an appetite for furniture, but yeah, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough fiber in his diet, yes, or, evidently. Yes, I figured out what triggers it, so I think we, we're going to settle that issue pretty soon, I hope. Good. Good. Um, do you have a favorite dog? I have had a lot of favorite dogs. It seems to change weekly. <laughs> right now, I'm, I'm very partial to Crusher and Naomi and Wallace and Jack <laughs> <laughs> and Sandy. So it's hard to pick a favorite, but they're all outstanding. Nice. nice. What do you feel is the toughest task or chore to do on property? Toughest task or chore? Um, gee, I don't really find anything tough. Um, poo picking is tedious and not the favorite task, mm -hmm. I'm sure, of anyone here, but everything is, uh, you know, a little, it changes constantly. It's very fluid, so one day you can be doing one thing and a different thing the next day, so. Nothing's really tough. And there's lots of things that need to be done. Yes. Yeah. Okay, for training, every time you touch a dog, you're training it. What training skills are you the most comfortable with? And what would you like to learn? Um, when the puppies are here, their initial training, uh, the spoon feeding, name recognition, I really enjoy doing that with the very young pups. Um, I would like to learn how to train or help train the older dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you could add one thing to a wish list, what would it be? What do you feel that Service Dog Project really could benefit from? Um, well, Other than the, uh, just the things that we need in a routine day here that people so kindly donate, mm -hmm. um, the toys and the fluffies and that sort of thing, I can't think of anything else that we need other than the things that have to be replaced every so often. Mm -hmm. okay. With puppies coming, can you think of anything that we would need for the birthing or rearing of young pups? I think that probably new moving blankets, the base for the bedding for them, we have plenty of fluffies and a lot of toys and stuffies for them to play with, but the base, um, the moving blankets, they, they get beat up after a while. And <laughs> we could always use those. Mm -hmm. It's good padding and insulation between the floor and the puppies. Yes, definitely, yeah. that's a good thought. Um, what responsibilities for dogs' wellness do you currently have? And what would you like to learn? Like, 
immunizations, um, just the wellness toenail clipping, any brushing, anything like that? Um, well, over the years, I've been giving meds when they're on meds and doing feeding. The meds are part of the, the feeding routine. Um, I've done that. I have not done any nail clipping or brushing. Um, I would love to be able to do either one of those things, mm -hmm. especially the brushing because the dogs love it. Yes. The nail clipping, not so much. Oh, start them early. <laughs> All right. In 20 words or less, what is one thing you'd like to tell the world about Service Dog Project? Oh, I would say the pride when they go down the driveway. That is awesome. With each dog that I've been here to see leave, um, it's, it's a, a very, it's a, a bittersweet moment because you, you're going to miss them so much but you're so hot, happy that they're going and also proud of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think that's, that's the whole, the whole uh, premise of Service Dog Project is helping people. And in that moment, it's, it's really, it's heartwarming to see. Mm, very nice. All right. Last but not least, um, how about share either funny story or most embarrassing moment that happened at the farm to you? Oh, there have been many. The first one that comes to mind is the day Bentley stole the stool right out from underneath me at mail call. I don't know if you ever saw that. Mm -mm. I was doing mail call with Carlene. Bentley came in between the two of us, I believe, and he just started leaning on me and leaning on me until he actually pushed me off the stool. <laughs> then when he turned around to leave, the stool was stuck under his belly and he walked off with the stool underneath him. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and the other thing was the day that um, Capri had her puppy. That was just shocking. I, I was watching the dog for any signs of labor we had all pretty much determined that it wasn't her time yet we just keep an eye on her and when i turned around and saw the dog standing there with the tail between her legs looking ashamed of herself i couldn't imagine what was wrong until i looked on the futon and there was bessie <laughs> on the futon so that was shocking i just remember yelling for carlene and she came running out i just hollered puppy <laughs> she came running and that was uh one of the funnier moments that and bentley stealing oh my, my stool that's funny all right um and totally off topic what is your favorite food and what food would you never eat my favorite food mm -hmm. well up until last week a food that i would never eat i would have said mussels except I went out for lunch with my nephew last week and he ordered mussels and had me try one and now I love them. So I guess I'll have to move oysters into that slot of things that I definitely don't want to eat. Um, and my favorite food, without a doubt, is lobster. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that's all I have. Thank okay. you so much, Cindy, oh, for joining us. That was awesome. Welcome. My pleasure. All right, have a good day. Okay. You too.